Dear hashed followers, in this video I want to show you how you can switch archive text dynamically on a trend control. There was a question from Stefan Osterkorn. He has two buttons and one trend and if you press on button one he wants to display trend one and if you press on button two he wants to display trend two in a trend control. And today I will show you how it works. In the runtime I have prepared a small example. With the green slider I modify the current value and with the blue one you see I have modified a value and if I press button one or button two the connected value changed. So how does it work? Let's take a look to Tia. I want to add a third a slider with the red color. The first thing I need is the property we want to modify of the trend control. So we add to our script screen.item the trend control and the property data source epsilon, but this is a little bit hidden, so we use the trick with the right click on the source. We go back to our button, to our script, and paste it here. You see it's trend area zero dot trend zero dot data source epsilon, and we want to add our logging tag. The first information you need is the runtime station name. In my case, it's my runtime station. I add it to the script plus two double dots and the tag name. So we have the third slider. I use my tag three. And we add a double dot. And the last information we need is the name of the logging tag. You see it's called logging tag underscore my tag three. So each tag has normally a different logging tag name. I copy it, I paste it to the status source. This information do you need for a dynamically archive change. To have a better visualization effect, I want to change the line color. So I add the line color here, the line color property, and at edge matter runtime dot mass dot RGB to add the RGB color. In this example, I have a red slider. I want a red color, so I add the property 255 for red uh, and 0 for green and blue, and 255 for the alpha, which is the transparency, and we load the runtime. In the runtime, I modify with the slider our value number 3 switch to the blue slider and it's also possible with the green slider. Um, it is also possible to switch the connected tag uh, via the control itself. To do this you need to activate uh, some toolbar buttons. So we search here for tool, uh, click on the elements and you see all the buttons which are available and we scroll to the right and set the visibility to true for the button select data connection and after we set it to the visibility to true I download it to the runtime and if we open the runtime again you see we have this button with these folders or looks like folders and here you have the possibility to search for logging tags and you have also the possibility to switch direct or the control if you don't want to do it by the script. If we see, okay, now it's tag 2 displayed, but it's still green because it does not modify the color. But what is if you say one trend is nice, but I want to do it with multiple trends to change the content and the visibility of multiple trends. Um, it is not possible direct in runtime. The first thing you need to do is the amount of trends you want you need you need to activate it in the engineering and in my case i disable the visibility and i add a text list here because i want to use it on a symbolic io field later to select a trend i want to modify so i have three trends with the value zero one and two and add here um, the text trend one trend two and trend three if we go now back to our screen, I add 
in the Bolliger O field and select the text list we have created before. It is not necessary to connect here in process value. I don't need it. And we add a button for the visibility because trend two and three are disabled in engineering, but I want to set it visible in the runtime. So the first information I need is the trend name and I use screen.item our symbolic IO field and I need a process value. And in the second step, I copy the information from before um, and add to trend zero the number we have selected before. So if you select trend one, you display trend one and set the visibility here. To true. So let us check it if this works in runtime. You see now if I selected trend 2, click show trend, he display the trend. At the moment is nothing connected. This is still the next step, but it is also possible to do it on the control itself if you add this button for selecting trends. Now we go back to Tia because we want to toggle our trends. Um, I add an if else statement here. So the condition is if a trend is visible, so equal equal visible, I want to set it to false, that he is invisible. And if it's not visible, he should be visible. So we toggle um, by pressing on the button our trends. So you see if I add trend to or I can disable trend one. So this is now working. And in the last step, we modify our existing buttons for the logging tags. I add here this information, which trend number is selected in the IO field and add this information here. I do it for all the three buttons. And you see now I selected trend three, set it to visible and connected tag two to it. Or I select trend two, uh, add logging tag three to it. Uh, and need to show it that you see it. And this is how it works. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.